What's up everybody, it's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Body. Today we've got a total body, dumbbell only, on workout. We're gonna be going through three total rounds. I'm gonna run you through the first one, and then what your goal is to do, is to try and repeat this two to three times. Now, it's probably gonna be pretty tough, so the second time is gonna be really tough, and the third time is going to be, well, actually pretty extremely tough. So aim for two, try and push yourself for three, and then let me know down in the comments what you were able to get. Other than that, let's get ready to kill this workout. Okay, we're gonna get this started, and just for reference, guys, in case you wanna know what I'm using, I will be using a pair of 30-pound dumbbells. You might wanna start with some, some between about a 15 or a 20-pound dumbbell. Whatever is suitable for you. We're gonna get started with this now, and we're gonna begin with 12 dumbbell overhead presses. Ready, and go. And I don't want those dumbbells actually connecting together at the top there. Nine. When you do that, it becomes more of a tricep exercise and less of a shoulder exercise. Let's get six more. Five. Four, nice slow tempo on the way down. Three. Two more, last one, and good. Directly now, we're gonna be getting into some push-ups to renegade rows. So you're gonna be positioning your dumbbells shoulder width apart. You're gonna be grabbing them, they're in a neutral stance here. You're gonna to wanna to position your legs a little bit wider. Here, I'll move into frame for you, just so that you can gain some balance from when you're coming down here. So we're coming down like you would with a natural push-up or regular push-up. Coming up, bring the dumbbell up towards yourself, right, and then left. We've got eight total. Ready, and go. Nice and low. Bring that dumbbell towards the hip on each repetition. That's one. That's two. This will be targeting the chest, as well as the upper back, and as well, the rear delts. Good. Four. Four more, halfway. They can definitely see the importance of keeping those feet. Ooh. Two more, nice and wide. Get a stable base to go from. Last one. And good, come back down all the way. Terrific. Okay. Now we're gonna get some crunches with just a single dumbbell. Get in the deck here. We got 15. So placing this just on the chest. Just lifting so that we can get the shoulder blades off the ground. Coming right back down, making sure that chin is not tucked into the chest. We want to have a fair, a fair, decent distance from the chest. We got 15 repetitions. Ready and go. Try to squeeze that at the top. And our goal here is to bring our head towards the ceiling. Three, five. We gotta get 15 here. Nine more. Eight, really squeezing with that core. Seven. Always making sure that we're breathing. Five more. Getting those shoulder blades up off the ground. Two more. Last one. And perfect. Okay, next, we've got some stiff-legged dumbbells. So grabbing both the dumbbells here is gonna be targeting our hamstrings and our glutes. We got our feet at about shoulder width stance. Nothing special here. The goal is keep your legs stiff and straight while you stick your butt out and you bend in the hips, bringing those dumbbells below the knees. And then as soon as you get below the knees, keeping those legs stiff, you're bringing those hips forward, squeeze the glutes. So we're coming down nice and low, keeping those legs straight the whole time. They're not locked. They got a decent, uh, they got a soft bend, but they're definitely not bending down as you're going down. So those are straight. Bending at the hips, lower back nice and straight, just below the knees, and then bringing the hips forward, squeezing the glutes. We got 12. Ready, and go. And good. Try to make that motion coming up sort of explosive. It doesn't have to be incredibly explosive. Getting just below the knees there. Three. Really sticking your butt out at the bottom. Four. Ensuring that that lower back is nice and straight. And you should feel your fingers gliding down your legs as you're bringing the dumbbell lower. That's how close the hands should be to the legs. And you're definitely 
definitely gonna feel the activation out of your hamstrings and as well as your glutes. Three more. Two. Sticking that butt out. Nice and low there. One more. And good. Okay. Next we got eight alternating lunges. So it's both dumbbells, but we're only one if that's all you have the strength for. You're gonna be coming forward, bringing that knee nice and forward, nice and far forward. Bring that knee, the back knee down, just lightly tapping the ground, and then coming back. Switching the legs, making sure that knee doesn't go over the toe, and then explosively back. We got eight, we got eight repetitions on each leg. Ready, and go. That's one. And then you're coming back up as explosively as you can. So when that foot leads right there, you're doing that as explosively as possible. Activating the quads, activating the glutes, driving from the heel there. Five. Good. Six, two more on each. Never letting that knee smash into the ground. There should be little to no thud. Last repetition, and good. You need to, just shake up the hands a little bit. Forearms might be a bit tired there. Now we got our biceps. So again, with both of the dumbbells, you're gonna be bringing these up towards the shoulder, squeezing the heck out of the biceps, and then returning them back down. I want you to try and prevent from swinging the weight. If you have to do that, the weight's too heavy, just try and grab a lighter weight or just do less repetitions with some better form. So we got 12 repetitions. Ready, and go. Get a nice squeeze at the top there, out of the biceps. Two, three, four, I'm already breaking a sweat. Five, and your forearms are definitely gonna feel it from this one too. Seven, five more. And you might notice I'm getting a rotation at the top there. My hands start uh, facing the side of me and then their palms up at the top there. Three more. Two. Last one. And good. Now we're gonna hit the deck. We're gonna be getting some lion skull crushers. So you're gonna be facing up for this. Coming down here. Play your elbows and such. That's always what I like to do for this one. Coming down on the ground. Bringing the dumbbells up. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna focus on bringing those dumbbells down by bending in the elbow, getting them as low as you can before your elbows start to flare backwards so I can get to the point where they just touch my shoulders. And then you're extending upwards, ensuring that those elbows aren't flaring outwards. You wanna keep them nice and tight the entire time. So we got eight repetitions. Ready, and go. Seven. Six, five, four, three. And get a good burn out of the triceps on this one. Two more. Last one. And good. For our final two exercises, we won't be needing dumbbells. So you can toss those to the side. We got here thigh slap jumps. So we're jumping up decently high, not max vertical. You're gonna get decently high, and the goal is bring those knees up to your chest to bring them up as high as you can. So it'll look something like this. Coming up nice and high, bring those knees up. And we got eight repetitions. Ready, and go. As explosively as you can, that's the goal here. Three, four, giving yourself a second between. Five, each rep, just catch your breath. Six, two more. Last one. And good. Woo. Final exercise Woo. is a three movement combination. So we do two repetitions of each movement. That condones, or that's what creates one full repetition. So we're starting this two jumping jacks. So go one, two, Right after that, get nice and low. Two uppercuts, and then two hooks. That's full repetition, so I'll demonstrate it again. So one, two, nice and low. One, two, one, 
two. And again, we got eight total repetitions. This is the last exercise of this routine. Eight repetitions of the three movement exercise. Ready, and go. One, two, nice and low. One, two, one, two. Good, good. Nice and explosive on those punches. Making sure you're breathing. One, two, one, two. Good, nice and low. That's it, four more, halfway there. That's it, three more. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's it. And the last full rep. Nice and explosive. Woo. And there you go. You've completed the full routine. Total body, dumbbell, home workout. Good for the cardio, good for the upper, good for the lower, and good for the core. If you want to push yourself, try to do it two times. Think you're really crazy, then how about you try three? I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to give it a like down below, and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you won't want to miss. Before I do my, my outro here, be sure to also let me know, know down in the comments. I'm so tired. How many rounds you were able to go through and what your goal is the next time you try performance. Other than that guys, I'll see you in the next workout.